first time in Brazil. Uh, nothing can compare to that one. Uh, we were already 10 years old when we went there, uh, but the whole culture was totally different than in, in Finland or in Europe or anything like that. We, we really didn't know what to expect. And honestly, we really couldn't handle that thing at all because we haven't ever been like rock stars or anything like that, but, but they expected us to be like that. And I think that pretty many of them were disappointed that we didn't act the way how they, because I, I think that pretty many of them made us like some kind of icons. And then suddenly there came uh, six drunken uh, Finnish um, clothic rockers who didn't act like a big rock stars, but like, like just common people. And, and the concerts we played, they were huge. And then, uh, especially the first one, and um, MTV South America made us a certain opening news flash and, and everything like that. We, we uh, gave hours and hours of uh, autographs. My, my autograph uh, changed on those two weeks in Brazil. Because when, when we went there, my autograph had much more curves and everything. And after two weeks, we're like, just because of the reason that we, we uh, gave those hours and hours. And that, that was absolutely the biggest highlight. Um, same as Argentina uh, a year later, uh, or on the same year, but on December in, in Brazil, we were in January. Then the second highlight was when we went first time to Mexico. Uh, that was amazing. We still have more fans in Mexico City than anywhere else. Uh, and if checking, for example, from Facebook or, or anything like that, there is still more to which is fans in Mexico City than anywhere else. Um, and the first real tour in Russia because the distances are huge and uh, it like you, you might jump to the train on, uh, after the concert in one city and you will jump off from the same train like 36 hours later. It, 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 it's something uh, so hard to understand the whole country and how it works. I, I, I think those might be the highlights, the biggest highlights. Uh, 2002, we were on the way to European tour and we had two weeks tour, if I remember right, something like eight or nine concerts booked. We were on the way to the very first concert place in Ghent, in Belgium. Uh, we started driving from uh, Tampere, first to ferry in between Finland and Sweden, then driving through Sweden, then another ferry to Denmark, then stop in Copenhagen for eating to keep like half an hour, 45 minute break. Uh, we drove the minibus exactly to the central, uh, the parking lot, paid for the parking, locked the doors, went to eat, came back and lost absolutely everything. I mean, absolutely everything. Uh, the minibus was mine. Uh, all the equipments, guitars, amplifiers, uh, banderoles, uh, costumes, merchandise, computer works, everything. Uh, and that was the only thing when we really thought should we stop the band right now. Now, 15 years later, it's something that you could laugh, but, but we were there. Uh, we lost the passports, uh, some mobile phones. Uh, okay, I'm always carrying mine in my pocket, but uh, some of the others like hide those under the seats in the minibus, same as uh, the passports and, and everything. So, yeah, and wallets, and we had some coins to go to eat, and and, uh, and then we were in a foreign country, uh, and it became tonight. We didn't have anything else except the t-shirts and then jeans on and uh, and it started to be cold and we were like okay we lost everything so of course we had to cancel the tour and, and 
start everything from the zero and because we are not rich so we really had to think do we have even money to buy the new instruments. I think uh, everyone, everyone knows my uh, opinion for Finnish winter, and that's why uh, Talvenaika, which means literally in English like winter time, uh, that's not even the only song I wrote about Finnish winter and how much I hate that. And I have always think that, that I born to wrong country, uh, that I, I should have been born to somewhere like like Mexico or like uh, Costa Rica or something like that and um, and yeah it's it's a story of my feelings about Finnish winter um, then after release that like few months of that we were on European tour again and, and then we went to Spain and we played the very very first time in Madrid and there were uh, some guys who had a magazine called The Black Box and uh, Dark Camera or something like that the, the, the same guys or more or less the same guys had also this uh, video sign and then they said that they would like to film the concert and do a promotional clip as well and then they made one clip, uh, Requiem, from concert uh, parts, and then we went a day after the concert or two days after the concert. Uh, we went to some nearly collapsed uh, or half collapsed church outside of Madrid, and then we filmed those parts where two witches are uh, included. And then these guys finished the rest of the uh, clip there in Spain and, and to be honest I haven't ever seen those girls <laughs> even if I would love to <laughs> but yeah uh, so it was also for us really big surprise when, when it was done and, and we saw the uh, results and uh, I enjoyed that very much I hope the others have enjoyed that as well <laughs>